Yeah. All right, we're going to go back. You know, one of the things we talked about, Brian's mentioned it a couple of times, Nala mentioned it earlier, was the impact that these events are having on young people this time around, and a lot of young people who are here in attendance. Well, Nala is with one of them right now. Nala. Thank you, Peter. Here we've got Captain Sky Simpson, who I met yesterday, actually, a pilot uh, from 436 Squadron. Uh, she was up in the sky yesterday when those uh, paratroopers were coming down uh, from the sky to commemorate what happened back in 44. And so uh, nice to see you again. I just wonder what it was like to be up there in the sky yesterday, you know, commemorating such an important part of the D-Day events. It was um, incredible. I don't know how else to put it. Um, working with the Americans and the French and the British, uh, seeing how everybody works so well together, you could feel the excitement in the air getting ready for the drops. And when we were up there, the weather was perfect. Everyone was happy. It went exactly how it was planned, and uh, it couldn't have been better. And you, you got to actually fly the C-130. I did. I did. I flew uh, a part of one of the drops, so we did three drops. Uh, with three passes for paratroopers, so um, I got to fly the last one, which is just incredible to to see what had been happening and everything leading up to that point really come together. It was just great. What's it like today? I guess that was the the big excitement up in the sky, but to watch this event come together, to see the veterans walking in, what does it mean to you as a young person who is in the armed forces? Um, it was more emotional than I expected it to be. And uh, to meet and talk to a few of these people who are so willing to talk, uh, just tell their stories, and uh, you could feel how excited they are to be here and how important it is to them, and just really honored to be a part of their day, because this is really for them. And uh, I'm just, I'm so happy to be a part of it. And people of your generation, I mean, is, is do you think this kind of event kind of brings home this history that is so Absolutely. important? It's, uh, I'm brand new in my career, starting out operationally, and uh, to have this, or this early, I think really solidifies the importance of these kind of commemorative events, uh, just to kind of continue on the legacy. So what do you say to people of your age, whether they are in your in service or not? What, what's the message today from you to people your, of your generation? Uh, I would say that it's, uh, it's important to remember, and it's, uh, it's not as big of a deal, I think, to, to many people, which, uh, which I think it really should be, and, and just being here really solidifies that. I think a lot of people would agree, Peter, and um, we'll send it back to you now. All right, Nala, thank you. Nala Ayed with uh, a young officer from the Canadian Forces, and